The first time I reviewed the Il Maquillage Foundation, it turned out horrible. I don't like it. We'll be returning it. And I ended up returning both it and the concealer. Well, it's been eight months since I've done that video and I've been reading your guys' comments below. Some of them um, have been telling me that I probably used too much or, you know, the application wasn't the greatest. So I thought it would only be fair to give this foundation another try. And honestly, I'm still seeing it all over my feeds. I, I, I it's gotta be good, you know? You, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Because everybody's raving about it. So I wanted to give it a try again. I think I know what I did wrong in the first review. And if you watch until the end, I will show you the three biggest mistakes that I made in applying the Il Maquillage Foundation and what I did differently this time to get better results. I completed the Power Match quiz and again it matched me to shade 35. I didn't need to purchase the primer or the foundation brush because I still had these from the first time. However, I did purchase the foundation, the concealer, and the finishing powder. I remember the first time I tried the El Maquillage group, I really fell in love with the primer. Oh wow, already I'm loving this primer. Wow. Not only is the bottle just stunning, but I found it really satiny smooth on the skin. This makes your skin feel like silk. I've kind of veered away from it. That's why I still have so much of it left because I found that the foundation that I was using with it was just kind of slipping and sliding all over the place. To be fair to Il Maquillage, I'm going to use the primer that they supplied. So I'm gonna take a good three pumps. And yeah, it is, I mean, it really does. It feels not like Vaseline. I, I'm, it's like satin is, is the word I guess I'm looking for. And because I always bring my foundation down my neck, I always make sure I put the primer down as well. So the Il Maquillage woke up like this. The first time I took the test, they suggested 35. They suggested 35 again this time. So I must be doing something right with the test. I'm actually going to put one pump in my hand. It's actually one and a half. And I'm gonna massage the brush into the foundation. Now I always try to start in the center of my face because that is where I need the most coverage. And I'm gonna just really buff it into the skin. So the match to me is actually pretty spot on. Now when I tried it the first time, it seemed like it was, actually it seemed like it was a good match at first. And then as the video went on, it kind of turned orangey. And this is a medium coverage, medium to full. And you can layer it, but I think I'm going to just stop right here. So foundation so far is good. <laughs> Let's see, because I know in my first review at the beginning, I was like, oh, I like it. And then as I think it was settling into my fine lines. So it definitely settles in the cracks. Look at my wrinkles. <laughs> it, um, it just, I just didn't like it. And it kind of, like I said, it turned that orangey color. So I'm gonna grab my concealer brush. Now this is the Frick I'm Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer. So again, beautiful packaging. I mean, who doesn't like anything shiny? And I can't forget that nasty scar of mine. You know what, I even have a dark spot on this side. 
It's like it's trying to be twins. I'm using my new Nikki LaRose. I was corrected in my video. It's actually Nikki LaRose, not Nikki LaRosse. N16. And just so you guys know, please, if I'm pronouncing things wrong, if I'm applying stuff wrong, let me know. Like I was, I don't take offense to that stuff. I love the fact that you guys are engaging with me. And I mean, the whole idea of this channel is so that I can learn and so that I can, my viewers can learn what I learn. It's all about helping each other. So really good coverage on the concealer. I'm just, I'm always so afraid about going too far under the eye. I've been wanting to get a translucent powder. I thought I might as well try this one. So again, this package is just kind of basic, you know. This is self-baking, which is good because I've never really understood the whole reasoning behind baking. It's not something I really got into. And of course the nose a little bit because it gets a little shiny once in a while. So this is how the Il Maquillage makeup looks on its own. I'm going to speedily do my makeup and I will meet you at the end for the final result. If you're finding value in this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much more than you know. So this is the final result. What do you guys think? I am so glad I decided to redo this video. I feel so silly that, <laughs> that it turned out so bad last time. Now at the beginning of the video, I promised I would tell you guys the three biggest mistakes I made in that video the first time I reviewed the Il Maquillage Foundation. Number one, I didn't exfoliate the night before. Prior to just a couple of months ago, I did not exfoliate near, not even close to the amount that I'm supposed to. 
I have been learning that you should exfoliate at least three or four times a week. Get that, those dead dry skin cells off of your skin, off of your face so that for one, your skincare can actually do its job. It's not trying to fight through all that stuff. But two, your foundation and your primers and your concealers, they will just sit on the skin so much better. So that was mistake number one. Number two, I used way too much for the foundation. If you remember in that video, I pumped a good three, almost four pumps into, actually it was on the back of my hand. And that is just way too much. You saw today, I think it was one and a half, just to be fair, it was about one and a half pumps that I used today. And that was plenty enough. My skin, I, I gotta say, I'm pretty blessed with my skin now. I used to break out a lot. It used to be really oily, but since I, had taken Accutane, my skin totally did a, to a full turnaround and I'm pretty blessed now. And so I'm very thankful for that because I don't need absolute full coverage. Number three, and I have mentioned this in a few of my other videos, I was using a very cheap drugstore sponge. Now, I don't know why I was using that sponge. I have, maybe I was struggling financially a bit or just hadn't made it down to Sephora yet to, to get my beauty blender. But I've been using Beauty Blender for years, so I'm not sure why I was using a cheap drugstore sponge. Maybe I thought, you know, let's just give it a try. I mean, save spending $27 on a sponge. So yeah, that was my big mistake as well, is using a cheap sponge. And I can't believe I didn't notice this before. When they sent me my shipment last time, they gave me a free foundation brush. Why did I use it? Why? I, I mean, I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I just, I guess I just thought, oh, cool, free brush and just put it with the rest and didn't really think too much of it. But now that I have really been diving into using makeup brushes versus the sponge, especially when the foundation is runny. I've talked about this before. It's all up to viscosity. If the foundation is running down your hand when you pump it on, then you definitely need to use a foundation brush. If you pump it on and it kind of just stays there, it's a little bit thicker, that's where you could use a damp sponge. But if you're going to use a sponge, use a good quality one. I'm not saying use the Beauty Blender, but don't use one that's from the drugstore. They do not apply nicely. It does not, it just caked it on. Like if you look back at that video, I looked horrible. It just caked the foundation on. So that is number three, is I did not use the proper tools. My final thoughts on this foundation is that I like it. I really do like it. And I'm really glad that I decided to redo a review on this because I, it was so not fair to Il Maquillage in that video because I did I, I had all those mistakes. Now I do find that it does have a bit of a smell and that I mean it I'm okay with it. I, it doesn't bother me that much. Actually let's do this. Um yeah it does have like a bit of a perfume smell to it but if you can get past that this is a really good foundation. This foundation actually reminds me of my Makeup Forever HD. I purchased this, I wanna say about four months ago, and I really enjoyed it. And I find that these two are very similar in the way that they apply to the skin, the way they sit on the skin. And I, I mean, either or, right? I know Makeup Forever is pretty expensive. I'll put the link below in the description. It's at Sephora as well. So yeah, these two are very similar. So all of the products used in this video are linked below in the description. Now, just a reminder, I am not an affiliate. I just really love makeup and I love to share my knowledge with you all. If you guys haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and most importantly, ring that bell so that you can turn on post notifications and you won't miss an upload. Also, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much more than you know on the YouTube algorithm. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fabulous day.